Hey fam, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So, you got baggage? It's affecting your relationship? Let me tell you how it's affecting your relationship right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So, I want to give you five tips on how your baggage is actually affecting your relationship. Now, for those of you out there, let me just go ahead before I give you the five tips just to explain to you a little bit about what baggage is. Now, baggage can be anything. Baggage is anything that has caused you hurt and pain from any of your previous relationships as well as your familial relationships. For example, baggage can be maybe you were abused by, you know, family member, a friend, maybe even your last relationship you got abused. Maybe it wasn't sexually or it could have been. Maybe it was physically. Maybe it was emotionally. And this could have happened in your familial relationships as well as your romantic relationships. So abuse. Or maybe one of your parents walked away from you and the other parent and now you think that everybody that comes after that is going to walk away from you. And sometimes that happens. Or maybe you got cheated on long, 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 long time ago or from a previous relationship. And everybody that has come after that, now you are punishing all of those people. All because of your baggage. So one of the ways that baggage is affecting you is that it is not letting you truly connect with the person that you want to be in a romantic relationship with. Your spouse, your partner, your boo. It's not letting you truly connect with them. Because what's happening is your subconscious mind is actually trying to keep you safe from experiencing any of the pain and um, hurt that you experienced before. So it's 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 blocking blocking all of that pain which actually leads me into point number two is actually sabotaging your relationship yes your baggage is subconsciously or even consciously uh, sabotaging your relationship because it's not letting you let down your guard and then it brings me into point number three, which is maybe you'll start to accuse your partner of doing the things that you have not dealt with, i.e. your baggage. And so maybe it was the cheating, right? So now you think that your boo is cheating on you. Every time they leave the house, they go on to meet another person. Or every time they're on the phone too long, you think that they're talking to another person or another potential person that they could cheat with. Or maybe you feel like they're hiding their phone a little too much. Or maybe you feel like you've never even seen them talk on the phone to anybody. And some of these things could be true. But a lot of it could be because you have not dealt with your baggage and now you keep attracting the same type of person and it's basically because you have not learned the lesson you haven't learned the lesson you haven't dealt with your baggage and this is why you keep attracting the same type of person that same cheater that abuser that person that's going to leave you behind because you haven't dealt with you haven't you haven't even realized that this is what the baggage is because you have not identified what your baggage is number 1 you haven't prayed to God and asked him to take away from all of these hurtful and painful feelings and even some of the memories you could ask him to take away some of the memories and to and for you to forgive the person or people that was involved in your hurt in your pain and so because you've never gone through any of those steps, now you keep attracting the same person with a different face. They're doing the exact same thing. You're not able to connect with the person. You're sabotaging the relationship. You got trust issues. Another thing is that it is causing you anxiety. This baggage that you are holding onto is causing you anxiety because you can't sleep. Maybe you can't eat. You're suspicious of Everything the person is doing, your new boo, yeah, the person that you're actually pushing away. 
So all of this anxiety that you have going on, maybe you starting to check their phone. Maybe you follow them around town, like literally in your car, following them around town. About to lose your job because you haven't dealt with your baggage. Because if you deal with your baggage, you will stop attracting the same people because your mindset will be completely different. And the person that you start to attract into your life will be a different person. Not only in looks, but everything about them will be different. And because you have dealt with that baggage, you will feel better about yourself. You will feel more confident. And if something does happen, i.e. your baggage starts to resurface because the person is now doing said thing, let's say cheating, you'll be able to move on so much faster because you know your worth. You know that's not what you deserve. You know something about this situation ain't right. And I don't have to accept it any longer. And point number five, you will continue to bring all of this baggage into all of your future relationships. Because most of us think that if this relationship don't work out, you know what, I'm going to jump to the next one in the hopes that everything will work out. But if you never deal with your baggage, boo, it's still not going to work out in the next relationship. Even if it's been many, many, many years in between your dating state, uh, in between your dating phases. Because as soon as you start to date another person, that same issue is going to resurface and all of those hurt and pain that you felt before is going to start to come up again and haunt your relationship once again. So don't feel bad if you need to go lie on somebody's couch. Talk to a therapist, talk to a coach, talk to a life and relationship strategist, i.e. your girl, because I can actually help you out with that. If you truly need to get rid of your baggage, send me an email. That email address is down in the description box below. I'm taking coaching clients right now. I'll be more than willing to help you get rid of that baggage. But even if you don't work with me, Talk to your, uh, again, talk to a therapist, talk to somebody that you trust, whether it's a best friend or somebody outside that you know that you can just talk to, get this stuff off of your chest without being judged. Talk to your pastor, talk to anybody that you can trust so you can seriously let down your guard. Be able to open up your heart so you can truly connect with another person because you are freeing yourself from this hurt and pain, i.e. your baggage. Another way, this is a shameless plug, another way to get rid of your baggage is to take my singles course, my super single course. I address that in there because until you get rid of your baggage, you will not have a healthy relationship. Something about that relationship will always find a way to crumble. The next one, crumble. The next one, crumble. And a lot of that, sis, a lot of that, bruh, has to do with you not dealing with your baggage. So I ask you, how are you going to deal with your baggage today? Who are you going to talk to to help you through this? And why not today? Why not start today to get rid of your baggage? Because it's only going to help you create that happy, healthy, romantic relationship that I always talk about here. Find a way to start getting rid of your baggage so you can experience a really happy, blissful relationship, a relationship that you don't have to be envious of anybody else's or start to compare yourself or your relationship to anybody else because you'll be the role model. I'll see you again in a future video. Deuces.